today is the last day of our um, Life Changes unit. Um, we've talked about Kylie Dunn, who did a number of 30-day um, challenges. Started. She was inspired by Matt Cutt's talk. We've listened to his talk. She also talked about um, another talk, uh, Wear Nothing New, that she was inspired by. And um, now we're going to do something a little different. Today you're going to brainstorm for me. If I said you were going to do a 30-day challenge, tell me what you're going to do, what would you say? Would you think about something you could start doing that you're not already doing? Would you think about trying to stop doing something that you're, you are already doing? Would it have to do with school? Would it have to do with your family? Would it have to do with sports? Would it have to do with a skill that you have? Whether that's music, art, dance. What would you do if you were given the task of creating a 30 day challenge for yourself? Today you're gonna brainstorm. Let me show you what I mean. On today's form, you're gonna brainstorm four things. Four things you could try doing for 30 days or things you could try to stop doing for 30 days or you could have two that you wanna start, two that you wanna stop. I, I don't care, I want four total. I want you to make them doable. Um, you are not an adult. You are probably not in charge of the grocery shopping or the cooking of all the meals. So it might be impossible for you to say, I'm going to stop eating all sugar. Because that means you're not going to have cereal because cereal has sugar. And actually most processed foods have sugar. French fries have sugar. There's sugar in everything that we eat like that. So you want to really think hard about that. Maybe be more specific. If you are realizing, hey, I'm drinking way too much soda now that we're home so much, um, maybe you'll say, think about what you're currently doing. If you're drinking two sodas a day, then maybe you need to say, okay, I'm going to cut back. I'm only going to drink one soda a day and see how that makes me feel. Or I'm only going to have two sodas a week and see how that makes me feel. And then do that for 30 days. Um, Maybe there's something you've been wanting to try doing. Maybe you um, have a cell phone or you have a camera that you like and you want to take one picture every day. And you could decide, well, it's going to be a picture but with no, no people. I just want to take a picture of a place where I am or something that is happening. Um, you, you decide. This is for you. I want you to think of four different options. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you to do four things in 30 days because even... Matt Cutt said he would do one for 20 and then start one, so they kind of overlap. We're not doing four things at a time. I like to have a group to choose from. Um, I, but I think we're going to be talking next week about what you are going to choose for a 30-day challenge. So when you're brainstorming, make sure you are brainstorming something that you can actually do. Um, if you're thinking about academic goals, let me give you an idea here. Uh, midterms went home or going home, we think about this, are going home next week. So maybe you're going to want to say, okay, um, by report card time, I want to, and then you need to say what, your, what you want your grade goal to be. Um, if there's a subject you're really struggling in, maybe you have a D in that subject, maybe you want to say, okay, I want to make sure I have a B in that subject by report card time. So this is what I'm going to do for 30 days to make that happen. It could be about your pets. It could be about the way you treat your siblings. It could be about helping out around the house. It could be about, I want to stop arguing with my mom for 30 days. I'm not going to argue with anything that she says. That may be hard. Some of you like to argue. I was that kid. I liked to argue. I had to say I'm sorry an awful lot to my mom. So I want you to brainstorm four things you could do. 
the only other thing you just you've done bell ringer and in a second after you finish this you'll go do listen to wonder for the day the only other thing i want you to do it's friday of a brand new week i want you to go now and look in your um let me remind you where this is pay attention i want you to look i can't show you hang on i can show you i want you to look in your view your work when it brings up all your work, I want you to click on missing. Anything that has, if it just says assigned, it means I haven't, it's not due yet. Don't worry about it. But anything that you have a red missing next to, go do it now. We're going to start Monday with a clean slate. I'm not going to keep grades open for six weeks anymore, okay? So do not get behind. I want you to do that today. I'm not giving you a lot of work today, so that should be pretty simple. Okay, as always, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or you just need help with something, email me. I'm right here and I will always respond as quickly as possible. All right, now go brainstorm. Oh, let me say this. I'm sorry. You're telling me four things that you think you might want to try for a 30 day challenge. We're going to pick one later. Don't worry about that now. I'm not so concerned that these are four complete sentences. But when you tell me what your challenge is, make sure you're super clear. Like, don't just say, help around the house. Well, what does that mean? Are you going to paint the house? Or are you going to do dishes every night? Are you going to fold the laundry? What does that mean? Be very specific when you tell me, okay? All right. I cannot wait to see your brainstorms. So get that done so I can look at them. All right. See you next time. Have a great weekend.